<laughs> Having fun back there, buddy? This is, uh, this is one way to tame the smaller dinos, you know? I mean... <laughs> oh, he's just like... He's just like, Look, Ma, I'm flying! I'm flying! Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Vanilla Enhanced Ark Survival Evolved. I am Selvalis, and I want a gun. Simple as that. Today, I want to craft... Oh, hallelujah, rain. I want to craft up some of the fabricated weapons. So, I want... You know, I want a shotgun. I want a sniper. You know, I, wa I want these kinds of things, uh, and I'll need ammo for that as well, and yeah, we're also, that's, that's goal number one, and then if I have time, I'd also like to start messing around with the, uh, where is electrical, get some power going, get some uh, lighting, and get some freaking auto turrets, because I have lost dinos to Argies now. They fly in over that hill, and then they come down and start chewing on the kibble farm. I've got the Rex on top to eat them, and it's got RG talents now, so I know that uh, that it's eating them. So uh, let me drop off my inventory, but first, where you have some uh, some needs that need to be taken care of. Oh, right, I almost forgot. No, wait, give me that one back. Okay, so uh, we are on Flappy today because I'm going to be doing some distance hauling. I have redone the greenhouse and added it, and I tamed some dung beetles off camera. Technically on camera, but it was Siren's stream and she wasn't watching. So we have a couple dung beetles here, and they should actually already have converted a large poop each. Yep, so we're getting some oil and some dung per beetle. And then I figured out that I do not need to have a full greenhouse to get the greenhouse effect this lean-to style actually works just fine so i brought the uh last portion of it with me because uh, that got broken when i was building the dung beetle pen and i brought over some more whatchamacallit crop plots and these should be working much better the uh when i tried to do the old version it was having some serious issues so i ended up scrapping the old one in favor of this new and in my opinion more elegant design uh did i bring the pipes with me i did not but i did bring a feeding trough for the dung beetles i do not honestly remember what they eat but i know that they do need to eat it's not just the dung that they eat so i'll fill that up at some point and now we are going to go on an adventure as soon as I offload a uh, couple of my less important things. Now, you may notice I have some grappling hooks in my uh, blue crossbow right now, and that is because of how easy it is to get a dung beetle, even an ion drops, with grappling hooks. So, before you could uh, pick them up, you had to kite them out of caves, and that is very difficult because stuff is usually respawning in, and, you know, there could be water between you and them. So, actually kiting them was extremely difficult. But I figured out pretty quickly on that if you just shot them with a grappling hook, you could drag them the whole way out, even through the water. Now, we are going on an adventure in order to pick up oil and silica pearls. Now, why those, you ask? Because we are going to need oil for gasoline to run the fabricator and the generator and silica pearls to make electronics. So I'm going to show you guys what I do right now for those two resources. We're going to first go to the oil. So I head off to the snow biome, and this is the place I build on Stegoland. So, you know, anyone who watches those videos whenever they come out, this should be a very familiar location to you. The Stego... Um, that is part of the reason I chose that location originally on Stegoland, is its proximity to oil. I can get lots of it cheaply. Well, not cheaply. I still have to go harvest it, but 
you know, it's, uh, it's still pretty easy to get it. I have been doing this a little bit, and then I also get drops this way. You may notice I picked up a Mastercraft hatchet, and that's not going anywhere because I got the blueprint for it out of a, um, a ringed red drop over here. That is one of the nice benefits of where I live, is I'm pretty close to most of the drop locations within a stamina bar's flight. So all I have to really do is, you know, look every once in a while. You saw me looking earlier at that purple drop on Obsidian. So I just gotta look. If I see a red or a yellow drop, I'll usually try and go get them. Uh, I picked the yellow drops because they have the highest chance to drop flak, but that ringed red drop gave me not only the Mastercraft hatchet, but it also gave me... Uh, what is it? Journeyman Black Gauntlet Blueprint. So, my power is growing, and I put those blueprints at the community center so everyone has access to them. So, yeah, we're coming up right now on the oil fields. Looks like we'll need to land on this little mountain for stamina. I guess I should point put a couple points of stamina onto this tappy. I put everything into weight. We're up to 470 right now, and... Oh, I gotta drop this crap. Drop, 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 drop. Keep that. Keep those. But yeah, it's like the stone stuff, the cloth stuff, and all this extra weight I don't need. Uh, I will hold on to the spoiled meat, because I'm not sure how much I have at home right now. Alright, stamina's back. Now, the only downside is that this area is pretty dangerous. Like, you can see there's raptors... There's a Rex usually somewhere. Carno. Ooh, that is a pretty Carno. What level are you, buddy? Level 5. You're a corpse. You know, there's Kairuku as well. Big bloody mammoth. I wonder, can I pick up a Kairuku? We might <laughs> we might take a Kairuku home. So I like to gather from around here because less, but not no dangerous things. And this is the spot that has the highest concentration of oil. And oil, because of our mod, does not weigh very much. I know I say it's vanilla arc, but we only play with four mods, and there are... two are for content creation, and two are just, like, we strongly believe that this is the way arc should be. And one of those is the stacking mod, the other is S+. Our uh, content creation mods are the... Uh, the gravestone that lets you just get your inventory back when you die, and then the one we just put on recently is a fog GTFO, so... It mods an area to never have a fog bubble. So, you know, again, it's for, it's for content creation because we don't like fog messing up our stuff. I haven't actually placed one in my base yet, but it's definitely on the to-do list. Now, I'm not going to be bringing home the stone. So we'll have a pretty good amount of oil coming home with us. So, yeah, we can do one more full inventory for me of oil. And then we have to fly home. So I'm going to finish up gathering here, and then I will see you guys back at base. Guys, so I decided I want to take a Kairuku home for uh, Kibble. So what we're going to do, since I didn't bring Trank Arrows, is we are going to uh, grapple it, then get back on Flappy. And we're just going to fly it home, and then I'll, gra and then I'll uh, tame it in my front yard. So, uh, you know, <laughs> having fun back there, buddy? <laughs> this is, uh, this is one way to tame the smaller dinos, you know? I mean... <laughs> oh, he's just like, he's just like, look, Ma, I'm flying! I'm flying! Woo! <laughs> ah, good old little, little Kairuku. Alright, so we will head home now. Hopefully I'll be able to make it on the stamina bar. I think we'll be just uh, touching down just outside of town. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright, we are home. I have dropped off the Kairuku. And we are going to attempt to tame her. So, one thing I remember is that Kairuku are very fragile. So your best bet is to use a crossbow. Because you want the ticking topor because they have very low health. So... The big um, impact of a long neck with darts is actually really, really bad for their health because then they take more regular damage. Now, it's going to be close, and I can see that she's bloody, but I 
think we're gonna get her down on the next shot, because, I mean, this is a lot of topor already. <laughs> Come on, go down, girl. Go to sleep, please. I really don't want to put another arrow in you. Come on, this has got to be enough. Come on, come on. Where's my freaking magnifying glass? Because I'm really, like, convinced one more arrow is fatal. Okay, closing my eyes. No! Damn it! Oh, why? Why? Oh... Well, I guess we have some polymer at least. Ugh, that feels bad. Alright, well, let's, uh... Whew, that is, that is depressing. So, I'm, uh, I'm gonna take the oil off Flappy. I already unloaded what I was carrying. I'm gonna put it in one of the Brining Forges, and we're gonna cook it with wood. Because I need charcoal for, uh... What do you call it? For gunpowder. So we're going to actually end up firing up both forges. Uh, put the other half of this in the other one. And yeah, we'll fire up both forges with wood. Uh, I'll do that. And then when we come back, we are going to be heading to the silica pearl gathering location I utilize. Quick reminder for everybody that if you want to turn oil into... Gasoline, you also have to include hide when you are cooking it. If you just cook raw oil and wood or spark powder, nothing will happen. All right, so for my silica pearl... Wow, it is really cold today. So for my um, silica pearl spot, it's once again in the snow biome, but the other side of it. So, like, it's actually not even going to look like it's the snow biome, but due to the weather and temperature, trust me, it's, it's the snow biome. So, pearls obviously require you to be underwater, and the Chitin Cave does not possess them, or if it does, it's in that gigantic piranha pit that I have no interest in going inside of, even if I have a Baryonyx that can stun them all. So, yeah, right about where the Tapajara fin is pointed is a bay that has a lot of pearls. Now, once again, just about one stamina bar uh, between here and there. Or between home and there so again pretty good location there's also a few pearls along this river right now especially like right up by the snow cave but um just given all the unpleasant things that can spawn around there i don't like to use that the uh spot i'm going to usually everything's busy killing themselves so i don't have to worry about threats coming to take a bite out of me on the way there like, I just see a couple mammoths right now, but, like, it's not till you're in those ice shelves that you actually get the, uh, pearls. And you may be wondering, well, if I'm going to the snow, why am I not wearing fur? Because, like, I know it's cold, obviously. Uh, the reason is that I am saving up on carry weight. Because, well, I'm not sure if it's as big of an... Oh, no! Oh. Oh, phew, it's just a Perlovia. Okay, Flappy, defense. I think Flappy's stunned, too. Wow, that was... This thing actually hits kind of hard. Okay, well, that was uh, one thing I'll admit I did not expect. Was a freaking Perlovia. And these things are great hunters. Like, they are, they are a massive threat. And I, I'll, I'll admit, I way too often do not give them credit where credit is due. Yeah, that, uh, that scared the crap out of me. I, I did not see that. <laughs> I, uh, I, I'll admit, I forget that they're in the snow biome. I'm used to them just being around the, uh, the redwoods. So that is another thing I will be taking more into consideration. But yeah, the fur thing... I'm just saving up on... I'm just saving carry weight right now because... Um, well, especially the oil is very heavy. The um, the silica pearls is not as bad, but... It's still, like, I don't want to take too much time. So, um, because of that, fa that fight, my health is going down a lot faster than usual. Normally, I am good to go for these excursions. But, um... 
I'm actually going to have to go down this beach a little bit and take a breather first before I go pearl diving. So be right back. So, uh, this is what you gotta do when night falls during a recording and Chicken Bone hasn't built a shelter on this side of the map. Hint, hint, chicken. Uh, crap, I can't bring up the map. Well, hint, 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 west coast where the Stegoland Arena is. I just realized my helmet got destroyed. I don't know if I ever showed you guys, but I picked up the ponytail haircut. But, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just sitting here, you know, cooking up some stuff while I wait for the sun to rise, enjoying the beautiful arc skyline right now, you know. This game can be, uh, truly wonderful and sometimes terrifying, if you could have seen what I was about to see. But yeah, like, just the sky, like... Damn. Like, I, I really appreciate this sky right now. And then that's like our little second moon, I guess, over there. Real moon should be somewhere nearby. But yeah, this is a uh, this is how I have to pass the time while I wait. Morning has come, and with it, silica pearls. So this bay is my area of choice for gathering the pearls. I should be able to touch down a flyer on this iceberg. And then it's just a matter of going under and picking up the pearls. Now there'll be a couple Mega Piranha, maybe a couple Manta Ray. Actually not looking too bad today. That's a nice change. Um, is that an RG coming after my bird? That's, like, that's been a big problem lately. It's just RGs coming after everything. I don't know what's up with them. Like... Like, I, I don't get it. Like, the, I, I think what happened is... Well, I think they've always just had higher aggro ranges, but I think when they... Uh, oh, there's a shark. When the uh, flyer nerf went out, that they might have buffed wild RG slightly. Because, I mean, like, they hit their... Like, actually, it's not so much that they're hitting hard. It's like they're just tanky. Like, I think actually what I might do next episode is tank or er, tame one just and kind of see what happens to the stats when I level it. And actually, I'll just do that off camera. I'll get a kibble RG. After all, today I'm hoping to put in those uh, auto turrets, although not, not looking too likely right now. Because the... Uh, I did get a lot of oil, so that's not really a concern, but I need a lot of pearls, and I'm only getting 129 per, which, you know, sounds like a lot, but when you need to craft thousands of electronics and it's three pearls per, uh, three pearls per electronics, you, you, you start seeing how it can get pricey fast. All right, my health is holding out for now. I think I'll be fine for the rest of this, but I am still... Oh yeah, and this is a cool moment. Like, if you look, you'll see that the ponytail is actually reacting to being in the water. I thought that was really cool. Like, it, it's not often you see... Oh, suffocation. No breathing. Well, that just uh, cut this sh trip short. But, uh... Oh god, my stamina. Yeah, we're, uh, we're just about done, I'd say, with this. Yeah, ah, oh, crap. This is gonna be awkward. Come on, get out of the water. Oh, oh, my my head is above the water. Okay, I'm not gonna drown. Come on, just get standing. Thank God. Whew. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna add a set of scuba gear to my uh to to craft list today because that should be doable with this stuff. I've got crystal plenty from the mountain. Whew. I'm gonna heal up a little bit, see if I can't get the pearls between me and Flappy. Oh, I already got most of them. Never mind. It'll just be this one pair, and then we can go home. How many did I end up with? 1,500. I mean, that's, you know, 500 electronics, roughly. So, you know, that, uh, that feels like a pretty good number. What do you guys think? All right. Let's go back where it's warm. Home sweet armor repairing home. All right, I picked up the 1500 pearls. Let's see what's in my inventory. Actually, first, 
Let's get my helmet fixed, because, you know, that's important. Wonderful, good as new. Uh, you. Still kind of getting used to the new UI, and I hear there's changes again coming later, so I'm not really sure how I feel about that yet. Oh god, I do not want that many. Like half a half of that, yeah. And I will take the uh, crossbow. Uh, the grappling hooks, because these are useful. So, let's see how much gas is cooked. Ah, oh, plenty. Plenty, 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 and the oil is still going. Excellent, excellent. All right, so firearms. So 500, wow. 500 exact, that is... Like, I, I don't know what the word is, but when it comes out to a number like that, that actually just makes me happy because it's such a good, nice, easy-to-work-with number. Oh, well, there goes the rain. Oh, and I am hungry again, so... I'm trying to do this in third person because I kind of figured you guys would like it more. I'm gonna pick up some spark powder, kill up the rest of that, cementing paste, grab the cementing paste out of here. Alright, so we should have some uh, materials to work with. Let's see, metal, oh yeah, we got plenty of metal left. Okay, let's put that in, and I can check the craft before I... Uh, Oh, crap. You know what? Give, I need the spark powder back. I just remembered I'm going to need to turn, like, most of this into gunpowder, so... Let's get that there. So it was 326 each. So I need 700-something. Oh, per perfect. And then I'll just queue that up. Again, remember, you can now press A to automatically craft all of any type of item, so we will have plenty of gunpowder. Bullets will be the last thing we do. So let's turn on the fabricator and let's start crafting some awesome weaponry. All right, so for... for what am I missing? Press G to get that stuff to show. Polymer, okay, I figured this might be the case, so... Uh, yeah, I am short polymer. Wow, I have exactly enough polymer for the shotgun. Um, yeah, let's make that. Now, I realize I'm skipping most of the, uh, weapons for this, so I'll go ahead and just quickly make myself a long neck. Because I just remembered, right, I need that for tranking later. So, that's that. But honestly, like, with the exception of the, um, what do you call it, of the... That Kairuku, I've actually felt like the uh, crossbow's better for certain teams. Like, it was definitely better for the Giga, because um, with a Giga, the Topor goes down extremely fast. We're talking, like, thousands a second if it goes down. So you want the crossbow, because that'll get that long, um, that long, that prolonged drain on it. So, yeah, we now have a... <laughs> We now have a tranking rifle, and we actually will want the shotgun shells from that. Um, what was I going to say? Right, so we need polymer. So, uh, composites. Polymer needs obsidian. Crap. Well, looks like we are going on one more adventure up the mountain. So, I don't have a forge up here yet, because um, two two parts. One, I don't have access to the industrial forge, so checking the color on that. So I don't have, a, you know, I'd have to build like you know eight small forges to match to match its output. So I, I, I want to say it's level eighty where you pick it up. So go down here. Damn, the industrial cooker's next. Okay, so. I'm still only six levels away, though. So, like, do not play with the Archies right now. So, I'm, I'm close. I'm, like, really close to to it. Like, I mean, all I would have to do is swim the Spino to Carno Island for a couple hours. I mean, there's so many notes around the place. Like, if I want to level, it's not going to be a difficulty to level. So, I can never remember. Okay, it is pick on what's better for Obsidian, but um, Anki is just better at overall. But 
Um, because the, the situation, I'm not gonna... Again, I'm not gonna build that the outpost until I can build the forges. And then when I do build it, it's gonna be out of metal. Because the possibility that we will find Fluffy 2.0 up here. And, uh, that would be really bad. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is like a level 10, right? Level 10 RG. And look at this. I'm I'm dealing four times the damage, and yet it's it's putting up one hell of a fight. 30. Okay, 30. Still, like, that was a really, really tough fight. Like, I, you can see the damage on the Tapachera. And, I mean, it's not a pushover Tapachera either. This was a 140. I know the other one's more combat-oriented, but... You know, the fact still stands that my powerful bird was getting wrecked by, arguably, the crap... It's crappy cousin. Oh, I don't want to... How good is your carry weight? I don't want to leave that metal behind. How are we looking? Okay, yeah, we can... Mine up here for a bit, and I'll bring you guys back at base. All right, so I weighed my options and realized that I am completely out of chitin and spending paste almost. So, um, basically, if I want to craft my sniper, I need 115 polymer, but I don't have the cementing paste for it. And then at the same time, I also, like, if I crafted it, then I wouldn't have the cementing paste for it. So... For now, the uh, the other guns will have to wait, so we will instead devote all of our gunpowder and... Uh, how much metal do we have in here? Oh, plenty. So we are instead going to craft a butt-ton of weapons. Yes, that is a scientific unit of measurement when it comes to making bullets. Alright, so what could I make in here? A hundred... And eight. Well, in that case, we want a hundred and... 12 and then I've got more metal actually cooking up right now because I brought some down with the mount from the mountain and we have tons of um, we're gonna have tons of gasoline by the time this is all done I might actually need to go chop down more trees but we are rapidly approaching the end of this recording session and I want to have a little bit of fun with my uh, with my new toys before it's all over so like, this was the other thing I was thinking about, actually. Yeah, give me that holoscope blueprint. I think what I will do, though, is... What am I short on? Crystal and electronics. Electronics is no problem. Because I brought all those pearls home. So we'll let that craft up. And then crystal I'm not using too much of right now. I, I had to use a lot of it for the, uh, the greenhouse. But besides that... Yeah, I think this is going to be fun. Alright, so the bullets are crafting up. Um, and then from there, we shall make shotgun shells, which required the simple bullets to begin with. So, oh, wow, we, uh, wow, we actually put a really big... Da I thought metal was the uh, controlling factor right there. Wow, it, no, it was... It was, in fact, the gunpowder and I have some but that's not gonna cut it well at the very least I should have just enough to make that was the one I looked in at the end I'll still have enough to make a few shotgun shells and then we can go um, I don't know RG sniping or something I'm not a big fan of RGs if you haven't figured out they are uh, they are a big pain in my butt of most of the time and I am actually really glad. Most of these rocks, yes, these flat things are harvestable rocks. They just are out of spawn range. Chicken Bone decided that he wanted most of the resources to be able to respawn around our bases, so he uh, he turned that that radius down as low as he could. You know, probably has you know nothing to do with the fact that he lives in the swamp and has like some really kick-ass foliage. You know, definitely, definitely not that, but. Let us get me some shotgun shells so I can go blast some RGs before we end the up. There we go. 13. That'll do just fine. I hope. That or RGs are OP, you know. We're about to find out. Three. 
two, one, done. Boom boom time. Hell yeah. Ah, now this, this feels powerful. Come on, Flappy. Let's go get us some, let's go get us some fried chicken for dinner. Oh god, that sounded terrible. Sorry guys. Um, oh come on, suddenly there's no RGs? What the crap? Did like a Rex eat them all or something? No, well. Alright, fine, you know what, we'll uh, we'll use this Dillo down here if it's a dude Dillo. It's a chick Dillo. Damn it, I actually will need you later in the future. Man, get, find me something to kill. Maybe I'll go into Chitin Cave? You know what? Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll, uh... I'll park Flappy outside, and then I'll just go guns blazing into the Chitin Cave. It'll be awesome. Let's do this. While I'm at it, I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Ark Survival Evolved. If you want to see more of Ark or Paradox Grand Strategies, you know, hit that subscribe button, and I will have... Hopefully daily uploads. So thank you all for watching. Farewell. Ah! <laughs> now this is more like it. Let's do this. Uh. Uh oh. Oh no.